How's it going everybody, Dstosh here, and Halo Infinite may in fact be a Xbox Series S and Series X exclusive, so let's get into it. Now, I initially found out about this by Sides Loves Y'all from the Gaming Leaks subreddit on reddit slash gaming, and basically it links to a taken down tweet that links to a 343 head who basically lists that Halo Infinite will only be on PC, Series S, Series X, and even though the leak is taken down on the Twitter page, we can still go to his LinkedIn page and see that it only lists PC, Xbox Series S, and Series X. Now, the 343 developer in question is Chad Mershark, Mer Mershak, and he is the UI art lead for Halo Infinite, plus uh, Senior Design Manager um, at Transmedia. And as you can see, he's been there since March 2020 to present, and he is in the Seattle area, which is, you know, where 343 is. And basically, yeah, it says Halo Infinite Series S, Series X, PC, TBD 2021. So what can we gather from all this? Well, basically, this isn't definitive proof uh, that it will only be a Series S and Series X exclusive. Um, one thing that comes to mind is maybe XBS maybe stands for Xbox One S as well. Or then again, maybe he just didn't list the Xbox One, but it's still in development. Or maybe he is developing for the next gen version, but perhaps the previous generation version is being developed by a different group. All of these things are possible, but let me just give you my two cents on whether I think it should be next gen only or not. Now, I know that a huge amount of the player base is still going to be on the Xbox One consoles, but I think especially if Halo Infinite wants to be a decade-long experience, they're going to have to cut the cord at some point, and I think that it's better to start off without having to cut it at all. I know that Grand Theft Auto V, for instance, um, the GTA Online supported Xbox One for a while, but eventually it had to let it go. And if we're thinking about Halo Infinite lasting for 10 years, like they keep saying it will, I really can't see an outcome where they continue to support the Xbox One for that long. Because the Xbox One, for the hardware inside of it, lasted a long time, but it was pretty outdated even when it came out. I remember when the Xbox One first came out, even Watch Dogs had trouble running on it. And gaming has kind of stagnated, I think, since the beginning of the Xbox One being introduced. I mean, Rise Son of Rome still looks like a next-gen game. So we kind of, well, in my opinion, I think that we need to give these consoles as much room to breathe as possible. And I think that if you're going to do that for a game, it should be Halo because Halo is, you know, the flagship. So I don't really want anything holding Halo back. I can understand why people would want it to be on last gen, but I think it'll be a much smoother and simpler process if it is just released on the next gen consoles. And this also kind of ties into it being delayed. It would have been a lot harder for them to not release it for the Xbox One if it came out when it was supposed to, which was this year. But since we're having a year until it comes out, I think that leaves a lot of time for people to pick up the next gen consoles and it won't be as an abrupt transition. I think one year is long enough for Halo Infinite to be next gen only. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. This was just my two cents about it. Do you think that it should be next gen only or should it be previous gen? Love to hear what you'd have to say, and remember, if you liked the video, please like it, and if you really liked it, try subscribing. This was Dstosh, and I'll see you in the next one. Dstosh out.